Hey everyone, what's up? We just got off a bus and we're here in Singapore's oldest housing estate. Yes, we're back here at Tiong Bahru. So from the word Tiong Bahru, it's a mixture of both Chinese and Malay. Tiong means cemetery and Bahru means new. new so new cemetery. This place was formerly a burial ground and since the 2000s, this place has gone through major gentrification, our love and hate, right? Um, but there's some perks like, for example, recently they have taken out this street, so now it's not possible to traffic anymore, whoopee! They have taken down parking signs like these, how cool is that? I'm just really happy to see more tourists here in Singapore. Also, more sketches coming to visit from the other chapters. I didn't really feel it, so let's go meet some at the Tiong Bahru Market. Okay, our group is meeting a little bit earlier, one whole hour earlier, over at the Tiong Bahru Market. The market consists of two floors, or two levels. The ground floor is a wet market, selling stuff from, you know, poultry, produce, Flower shop, fruit shop, white corn, full sided bean, and some lady's fingers or okra. On the first level, that's where all the food is. So I think everyone's meeting at the food section. Welcome to Singapore. Hi, morning. Did you see our guests? Okay. Enjoy. What are you eating? It's not what you think it is. Chi chong fun is uh, pork intestines, right? Yeah. That's the literal translation, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's flour. Yeah. Rice flour. Rice flour, yes. Here we go, our guests from overseas. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Binay. Binay. Yeah, two weeks ago. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are here with everyone calls him Uncle Siu. This is Andrew. And he's doing digital. How, how long have you been doing digital? Uh, I think this is the third time. I, I, oh. Getting used to it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting, learning how to use it. Okay. Yeah. So inspiring. Thank you for that. Which corner was this at? Over on this side or this side? That side. Okay. Yeah. What did you use? Watercolor. Watercolor, but I see pen. Is that was that a pen? Uh yes, there's pen. Uh there's pen, uh there's poster, white marker. So you said it's not a gel, okay. Yeah, some people use that for warm murals also, the big ones. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Where can you get this from? Up brand. It's very opaque. Yeah, it's very opaque. Yeah. And white, because I think that uh, it's a very common colour for ketchup. Yeah, so gold colour like this one. Yeah. Oh, the clever. Yeah, 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 so it's more wow. like a ketchup. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. But I don't recommend this red though. Because this red is quite pastel colour, pastel red. Okay. So it's like a pink. It uh, turns yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.
Alfonso, congrats on your recent award, architecture. Okay. Yeah. You, and you. can we you see your art today? Wow. The market. Yeah. How long did you spend on this one? Um, two and a half. Okay. Oh, maybe three. Okay. Three wow. Three. But you've got a comfortable spot. Check yeah. it out, people. Table, chair. Yeah. Nice wind. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we are looking for the other sketches. We're back up here at the food section. Hey mate, did you see any of the other sketches? Over there? No, I don't think so. Why do you have two? This is my basic palette. Okay. So most of the, if I can only bring one palette out, it will, it will be this. Okay. This is all my additional colors. Oh. It has uh, all the granulating ones and and you know, different uh, interesting colors. Oh, when it flips over in the back, does it? Leak? Uh, no. So you need to maybe leave it for a day to dry, and then once it dries, it should be fine. Although depending on the brand, some brands, as you see, this one from um, White Knights, it's a little bit more liquidy. For the Daniel Smith colors, it's usually very good. Uh, yeah, just that's need right. To be a bit... White knights come in tubes? Uh, no, the white knights that you can find in Singapore is in the pan form. Yeah, and then... The tube, I got it from uh, Jackson's Art. Okay. In, okay. In, um, yep, in UK, UK. yes. yes. Okay. Yes. The same thing. And he's going to show us his stuff. Okay. Uses Fontaine. Aquarella, 300 GSF. Okay, here we go. Chong uh, Baru, I join you. Thank you. What, what kind of special paints do you use? Any particular brand? Uh, water color. Oh. Oh. Good job. Yeah. How was the weather when you were sketching? Because you were outdoors. I know that uh, a lot of us are indoors, but how, how was it? Under the shade. Okay, that's good. Good, good choice. Yeah. yeah, good shade and then you can okay. have time to really slowly enjoy yourself. Okay, everyone's here for the throwdown. Let's go check out Neither <laughs> time, Ali. Welcome! Sorry. It's a beautiful name, yeah. Thank you. Um, how did you hear about Urban Sketches Singapore? So, I've been doing urban sketching back in Mumbai as well. So, my teacher recommended me as I was coming here for studying. So, she told me there'll be an urban sketches in Singapore. So, I looked it up in Google and on Instagram and I found a website and I'm here now. Okay, and what did you do today? Can you show us? Wow! Yeah, so, this is uh, the Tiong Baharu Market. I hope I spelled it right. Yes, you did. That's right. And I've used watercolors and painted, focusing more on the light and shadow aspect of my sketch. Yes. And yeah, this is my first time here. I'm really excited yes. to meet everyone. Fantastic. And so, can can we see your work first? Okay, first. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I see this as a book cover or something. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, can you share with the audience what is your name? Uh, my name is Shruti and I'm from Chennai in India. I'm currently a student at NAFA. Use pencils because you didn't bring your watercolor. Yep, I forgot them at home, so I had watercolor pencils instead. Okay. So. 
Thank you. You're <laughs> How do you share about Urban Sketches Singapore? I heard about urban sketching in general, and then I I was keen on uh, meeting the urban sketching in Singapore crew, and uh, I really look forward to come to Singapore and especially for to meet the people from well, Urban Sketching. Are you here for a short time? I'm staying here for four months. Okay. Because I do an exchange semester here in Singapore. Okay. At La Salle. Honeymoon, right? The sketchbook. Honeymoon, yeah. Yeah, wow. This was my second one. Wow. And this Look was at my that. first one. It is good that you have this skill on top of because you design now using what cat, cat. or yeah, yeah. So with this, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Alright, folks, so we're done with the session. It's been five hours out here in Tiong Bahru, and all of us have dispersed. This is not the month end sketch walks that we always have. It's called I Jo You or I Invite You, the colloquial term, and it happens as and when. And that explains why the group size is a little smaller for these ad hoc sketch walks or sketch outs. So if you're heading over to Singapore or if you're just passing through, even if it's just for the afternoon, do hit us up, let us know, and we will meet up with you for a sketch out. Maybe even bring you out to eat if there's time. That's so typical of us here in Singapore. It's always about the food plus the sketch, right? Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. This is Elvin Mart. You're with the Elvin Mart Art Channel. Until the next episode.